Hello everyone, it's time for one of my favorite videos of the entire year and that is books that you should read in the fall. So if you don't know, I have such a seasonal heart. It is ridiculous. I love fall. Fall is my favorite season. I even named my kid after it. That's how much I love fall. So yeah, I thought today I would share some books that I think that are perfect to read during the fall months. Now if you're looking for like kind of spookier and stuff like that. That's going to come in October. Today I'm going to strictly talk about books that are cozy, that have that fall autumnal vibe that just makes you want to like get a scarf on, get some hot chocolate, go walk in some crunchy leaves, all of those great things. We're going to talk about the books that really give off those vibes. Now, a lot of these books I mention every year, and I will continue to do so because I think they're great fall reads. And the first one being Big Shop of Pumpkin and Spice by Donna Kaufman, Kay Engel, and Allison Charles. This is three short stories comprised into one, and it's just the culmination of a fall book. Look at the cover. It's got a fall bake shop on it, pumpkin cookies, a pumpkin on it, autumn leaves. Like, if I could live in this book cover, I would. But basically, <laughs> this book takes place in one town. What is the town called? Moonbright. And Halloween is like Moonbright. Bright's holiday. So basically in this book, you follow three different characters that find romance in three different ways. And it's just stinking adorable. It's not a book that's going to have a lot of depth to it. But if you just want a book that's going to transport you to like the fall feelings and the fall vibes, this is a great one to do that with. Obviously, I bought this because of the cover because why wouldn't I? And I was pleasantly surprised by it. Really cute. Like I said, not a ton of depth, but I had a great time reading it and will recommend it every single fall. Much like Pumpkin Heads by Rainbow Roll, illustrated by Faith Erin Hicks. This is my favorite fall graphic novel. I don't read a ton of graphic novels, but Rainbow Roll really sold me, and then the cover, and then the whole plot really sold me as well. So this book is a YA, um, young adult graphic novel. We follow characters named Josiah and Deja as they have their last night working at this pumpkin patch. And it's not, it's more than a pumpkin patch. It's like, it's like a full on thing guys. Like it's got, um, what does it have in it? It's got a corn maze. It's got a s'more station. It's got a pumpkin bomb stand. It's got a petting zoo. It's got a hayride, kettle corn. It's got, um, a corn maze. It's just, it's like a full on like fall thing. Like, I don't live anywhere near one of these, but I wish I freaking did. But either way, they're both, they both work there and it follows their last night because Josiah wants to find this girl and tell her that he really likes her and Deja helps him. And of course, along the way, they learn that maybe they have feelings for each other. It's just told in one night. It's super cute. It's got so many amazing fall foods. Like I always talk about the pumpkin bomb in this because I read about it a few years ago when I read this book and I was like, I need one. And it's basically vanilla ice cream sandwiched between two wedges of pumpkin pie on a stick dipped in chocolate. Yes, a thousand times yes. And they have kettle corn. It's just like goodness me. If you just love fall, you need to read this book. It'll take you like an hour at most. It's just adorable and all the fall feelings. Then we have another Y graphic novel and that is Mooncakes by Wendy Xu and Suzanne Walker. This one the cover drew me in because how could it not? It's about a witch and werewolf falling in love. And it's all about taking place near Halloween and gives you all the fall vibes. And it's just freaking adorable, much like pumpkin heads. There's not much to say about them other than that. If you just want books that'll like visually take you there to fall, but also like fictionally, they're both amazing to check out. It's a new release and that is The X-Hex by Aaron Sterling. I read this a few months ago and fell in love with it. So it takes place in a small town that has witchcraft in it. Not everyone that lives there follows witchcraft. There's a lot of, you know, muggles, like non-magical folk that live there. But basically this book takes place nine years ago when Vivian and her boyfriend Reese break up very tumultuously. Like he broke her heart and she's like, I hate you, but she's also a witch. So she decides to get drunk and curse him which number one thing you never do as a witch is mix vodka and witchcraft. You never do that. But somehow she ends up doing it. She thinks it's stupid. It doesn't take a lot of the thought. And then nine years later, Reese, her ex-boyfriend, has to come back to the very small town near Founder's Day to charge the ley lines, aka like the magical stuff that keeps the town going, I guess you could say. But when he gets to town, he learns that things are going really crazy for him. Like, things keep happening. He almost gets in a car accident. He almost gets run over. Um, there are ghosts all about. Things are happening in front of non-magical folk. And he's like, what the heck? And Vivian's like, 
oh, it's probably because I cursed you nine years ago. So they have to team up together to unstop this curse. Feelings emerge because this is like a very second chance romance book. And there you have it. It's like, it's not to be, a, it's not a book to be taken too seriously, honestly. It's just a book about like a magical town, two people, like two witches falling in love and yeah like it reminded me so much of if stars hollow was magical like truly like had witches and stuff in it i was like oh my gosh because it had that such small town feeling they loved halloween they loved fall time and i was like oh, i need this but it was cute it's a book like i said not to take it too seriously it's like kind of like practical magic hocus pocus but maybe more romance i guess you could say i enjoyed it i had a good time if you love fall and you love witches and want to have a romantic time check it out. Speaking of witches, another kind of new release is The Nature of Witches by Rachel Griffin. This is a young adult book that is all about witches and it's very, very seasonal. Like, oh my goodness, if you are seasonal like myself, you will really enjoy this book. So this book, we follow a character named Clara and Clara is an ever witch. And what an ever witch is, is a witch that can harness all seasons of magic. And so in this book, we have witches that are tied to seasons. Like if you are an autumn witch, your full power comes to infect the three months that autumn is and you can do a lot of autumn things, I guess you could say. If you're like um, winter magic, you know, you're tied to winter, that's when your magic is the, high, is the height. And a lot of it also has to do with climate change because these witches have to battle a lot of the elements like tornadoes because in this book like a tornado will pop up in winter which is unheard of usually and that's because of how the world's changing and they have to really help fix that. And so basically like I said this book is about Claire who's an ever witch that can you know she changes with the season. She can do each magic each season so it's really awesome and she's like the first of her entire generation. It says for um it's a powerful witch who must decide if using her volatile magic to help the world is worth the price of losing the person she loves most. So basically in this book, you go through each season with Clara and the magic that it really is and how she kind of changes through each season, but she maybe finds love and how hard it is to be an ever witch. And I really enjoyed it. Like I was surprised by how much I enjoyed it. Um, it's just a great book like that talks about witches and seasons, but also has a really underlying tone about climate change, which I really appreciated. So it's a great book to read in the fall personally because it's very seasonal and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Next up is a classic and that is Little Woman by Louisa May Alcott. I would dare say this is a great book to read in fall and in winter because it's got such good Christmassy vibes, but it's also got such good fallish vibes. If you don't know what Little Woman is about, it's about four sisters. It's about four sisters, the March sisters and how they lived and basically of how they are sisters and how they fall in love. And it's just a really heartwarming book that is great to read and fall. Like it definitely paints you a picture. I believe they live in northern like United States like near kind of New England-ish maybe I could be a thousand percent wrong but either way like I think I read this in winter time and would recommend reading it in winter as well I think fall if you want to start it in fall and finish it in the winter because it is kind of a lengthy book it'd be a great book to read but it definitely gave me a lot of fallish vibes and there you have it those are some fall reads that I think you should check out that I think are perfect to read during those fall months that give you such a fall autumnal vibe that just make you just so cozy which I love so so much. I'm filming this like in the dead heat of August where I'm sweating profusely but I am trust me I am dreaming literally dreaming of fall because it's insane <laughs> but I would love to know what are some of your favorite fall reads? What are some fall books you turn to every single year that just get you in the fall spirit? Books that you just love and adore to read during this time of year. I would love to know. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.